So as you are working with the complex conjugate, you are working with the a certain complex number, which is referred as Z. A plus J B being a complex number, just any complex number. Any complex number that you are given, any complex presentation. Its complex conjugate referred as the Z bar like this is the conjugate of this Z is the introduction of a negative on this part. The imaginary term, you multiply it by a negative. So if it is a plus, it is going to be given as A minus J B. The imaginary term has changed the sign. That's the conjugate of a complex number. Meaning to say if Z is a complex number, given as 3 minus j4. Its complex conjugate is going to be given as what? 3 remains as it is. The imaginary part, you introduce a negative there. So the moment you introduce a negative, it will be minus, minus. That's a plus. It changes the sign. Compl the, the, this part of the, imag the imaginary part changes the sign. It was a minus. It's now a plus. So this does not affect the real term. This does not even affect the real term, guys. Complex conjugate, the minus three remains as it is. But this part here changes. It will be minus J4. That is how you have complex conjugate. So what is it about the complex conjugate? Because we are going to notice the use of the complex conjugate thereafter in the division of complex numbers. Why is it important for you to not or to understand this? It follows that in the multiplication or in the simplification of our complex numbers, as we saw previously uh, in our multiplication, we saw that you were multiplying something like this, one minus J, another one, it's one plus J. What, well, what are you having there? Remember, if we had an example like this, we got a two. You got a real, real, real term. You got a real term there. There was no J on the answer. It was a real term. So it follows that. Okay, let's consider this to say, we can put this back to the difference of two squares so that we can have a formula there. Remember from a difference of two squares, we need the product Z, a complex number, times its complex conjugate. Remember, this is A plus JB, the conjugate will be a minus. You introduce a negative, just change the imaginary term. So it will be minus like that, A minus JB. Guys, this is a difference of two squares, if you are to notice properly. If we had a difference of two squares, A minus B squared before, which was taken from the brackets of A minus B into bracket of A plus B. Let's take these ones back. This is as it is. And see what are you going to have from there. A squared minus B squared. Okay, let's see what I'm going to have. A minus B squared, which is J B squared like this. So I want you to see. Okay, this is going to be A squared minus J raised to the exponent of 2. That will be J squared. And B also to the exponent of 2 will be B squared. Remember in our product, a J squared was equal to what? Whenever you see a J squared, that's a minus one. So it means that in place of this J squared, there is a minus there. So it's A squared minus the J squared. It's minus. So it's like minus B squared like this. So it's minus minus, which will be a plus. So it follows that under complex numbers, instead of us having a difference of two squares where you're given this product and have it as A squared minus B squared, you will have it as a squared plus b squared at the end. So we can have this as a conclusion that is going to give us a squared plus b squared. So thus, under complex numbers and its complex conjugate, it follows that, okay? So it follows that. The product of Z and its complex 
conjugate, which is this presented in the form of A plus JB as long. One is positive, another one is negative, or one is negative, another one is positive on the part of J. We are going to have A squared plus B squared. A complex number, a complex number times its complex conjugate times its complex conjugate can be given in short like that, a squared plus b squared in short. The a there, the b there, the a here, the a and the b. As they are, no, not with the, the j, not j, there is no j there. The a, this one, the b, this one, the number there, the a, this one, and the b. Those are the ones that we are saying a squared plus b squared in short like that. For an example, let's consider this question that we had in our previous uh, class of the product. We multiply this. Let's use this in short. This is 1 minus j into a bracket of 1 plus a j like this. We can see this is a complex number. The other one is carrying a positive, so it's the conjugate. This is z. This is its conjugate. So from the formula, you're just supposed to have a squared plus b squared. So the question, what is a? Remember, this is supposed to be a minus jb. B, what is b? The number that is affected is 1. a plus jb. This is your a plus jb. What is our b? The number that is there is a 1. So if this was supposed to give us a squared plus b squared, it follows that the product of this is a squared, which is 1 squared plus B squared, the number representing B, B, the part of J there, the number there, what is the number there? It's one, not the sign, don't put the sign, no, the number is it is the one. So that's one squared. So one squared is one plus one squared, which is two. As we saw previously, when we simplify this, we got a two, a real term. A real term that you're having is the product of a complex number and its complex conjugate. So with this, we can simplify as many questions in short. So they are not going to give you to say, this is a complex number, this is its complex. You are supposed to notice that you are being asked to simplify like this. You are given uh, questions where you are supposed to simplify. And the complex conjugate is there. Maybe there is a 2 plus j uh, like this. This is 2 plus j4. Another one is 2 minus j4. Here the one we're supposed to notice that. We can see that the first bracket, the 2 remained as it is. The part of the imaginary changed. This is plus, this is minus. So it's a condition of a complex number and it's conjugate. This can be complex, this can be conjugate, and no matter the way that you want. But as you are to simplify this, the product is supposed to give us a squared plus b squared. So this is our a, this is our b, this is our a, this is our b. a plus jb, a minus jb. So what is your a? Your a is 2, so it's going to be 2 squared plus b or b is 4, so that's 4 squared. So 2 squared, that is 4. Plus 4 squared, 4 times 4, which is 16. Then you add this, you're going to get a 20, which is the same answer that you could have obtained by expanding the same way that you are used to as we're expanding those brackets. So I want you to do that by expanding uh, the brackets using the multiplication, using the FOIL method, and see if you're going to get a 20. So you can actually mark that for yourself. They are not going to tell you that this is complex number. This is... You're supposed to see that. Once you notice that, then you can apply it. So notice this very much. A complex number and its conjugate. Notice this very much because it is going to affect in our next class as we are going to be working with a division of complex numbers in this standard form. You are going to notice the complex conjugate playing a bigger role complex conjugate theory, this one, is going to play a bigger role. All right, so let's see in our next class.